Sutton Bridge Crop Storage Research is a state-of-the-art centre, carrying out specialised research on the storage of potatoes and other crops in the UK. This short film will highlight some of the key features of the facility and the capabilities of this internationally renowned centre. Sutton Bridge opened in 1964 and is located in Lincolnshire, close to the east coast of England, in the heart of the country's main agricultural production area. It has been a key player in the introduction of many new technologies and management techniques across almost 50 years of development in the storage arena. Sutton Bridge is owned by the Agricultural and Horticultural Development Board and operated by its Potato Council division. There are two types of work that we do. We do work on behalf of the industry, uh, it's funded by the industry through the levy and we also carry out private confidential research for uh, individual companies. The strength of Sutton Bridge lies in its staff who have a wealth of expertise and experience which they blend with the use of the latest research facilities, technology and techniques. This means we can enhance our storage capability and apply this knowledge in a practical and cost-effective way to the benefit of the consumer. In addition, our systems are accredited to the ISO 9001 Quality Standard and we are an officially recognised efficacy testing organisation for the UK's Chemical Regulation Directorate, part of the Health and Safety Executive. In 2010, funded by DEFRA and the EU RDPE grant scheme, six new state-of-the-art experimental stores were brought on stream to provide Sutton Bridge with some of the most sophisticated units for crop storage in the world, enabling storage experimentation in bulk, on energy-efficient systems and for residue-free storage. We've got six new stores. They are constructed as separate enclosures, 25 tonnes capacity in bulk or 16 tonnes in boxes. We have a, a sophisticated computer control system that allows us to uh, achieve a wide range of different conditions within the stores. Airflow can be applied as forced ventilation, passive ventilation or suction. Temperature and humidity are regulated using ambient and refrigerated cooling, heating and screen humidifiers. The refrigeration system uses a minimal amount of an environmentally friendly coolant, controlled by variable speed pumps. Each unit is capable of being fully sealed and totally isolated from its neighbour to eliminate any risk of cross-contamination. Uh, the facility at Sutton Bridge offers an exciting new dimension for research over the coming years. Sutton Bridge has excellent facilities for potato and other crop store research using controlled environment stores. This former aircraft hangar houses many of the 42 experimental stores available on site. Storage capacities in these stores range from small-scale 3 ton units up to semi-commercial capacities of 12 tonnes. Stores can be set up for a wide range of conditions and crops. Storage is usually carried out within trays, uh, boxes or specifically in, in, in specifically designed and built bulk units. We have um, a couple of stores here full of uh, small cabinets and that just allows us to do um, research on, on, on different atmosphere. Uh, so within each atmosphere we can control the oxygen, carbon dioxide and ethane levels uh, as and when we require. One of the major strengths of Sutton Bridge is in designing and conducting efficacy trials for registration of active substances based on EPPO guidelines. Sutton Bridge is officially recognised by the UK Chemical Regulation Directorate as an efficacy testing organisation. Part of my job here at Sutton Bridge is conducting efficacy trials. Um, I tend to work particularly in the area of sprout suppression. Obviously, in order to get a new formulation onto the market, you have to conduct efficacy trials. And effectively, that just demonstrates that, the, uh, that a new formulation or a new active substance actually does what it says. Personnel here at Sutton Bridge have the expertise for application of storage treatments using the latest equipment, ranging from hot fogging and granule applicators to hydraulic sprayers and cold misting technologies. Oxygen, carbon dioxide and ethylene levels can all be measured and controlled within each cabinet using our new ICA 6000 system. We have the capacity for larger scale trials to investigate the role and effect of ethylene on potatoes. Growing and storing potatoes is a business. To succeed, we need cost effective inputs that give us the best possible quality out of store. Potato industries around the world have been focused on chlorprofam or CIPC for many years now. It remains the most important sprout control treatment globally. CIPC is uh, probably the oldest sprout suppressant that we've got. So it's been around for about 50 years. We can actually obtain sprout control at very, very low residue levels. And the key really to success with CIPC is to get the treatment on uh, very, very evenly. Different active substances may need different methods of application and Sutton Bridge has expertise in developing these techniques. 
From storage, samples are taken at planned intervals and using standard operating procedures are assessed for various potato quality characteristics. The range of assessments varies from potato tuber pathology and defects to dry matter and processing quality. Where required, assessments can be tailored to meet specific customer protocols. Putting the right varieties in store and getting the best quality out is the challenge for growers, packers and processors. For the fresh market, this means maintaining skin finish and eating quality. For the processing sector, it's critical to achieve the best possible fry colour. Making good chips and crisps from crops off the field is relatively straightforward. Doing the same after nine months storage is much more difficult. One of the services we have is pathology, so we can identify diseases and defects. We welcome all inquiries from levy payers. Usually we can identify the, the diseases and the defects by visually assessing them and then talking to the grower. But if we can't use our visual experience, we use some more advanced techniques such as microscopy, or we can culture the disease. We use microbiological techniques to support our disease diagnosis service. For example, to culture pathogens from infected tubers, to differentiate between different soft rot bacteria types, and to provide inoculum for trials. We can use polymerase chain reaction, or PCR, which is an advanced analytical method that the police use, for example, for forensics. Uh, and this is really very specific and very sensitive and quantitative. So it has some fantastic advantages for us in the diagnosis of disease. One recently completed Potato Council funded project investigated the control of skin spot. Skin spot's a very unsightly blemish disease of potato. What's really uh, difficult with it is that at harvest time there's no sign or symptom of the disease and it develops slowly in storage. We've used PCR to identify the potential of the disease at harvest time. Managers can know in advance the likely condition of their potatoes at store unloading and decide when to sell the crop to minimise risk. You can access Sutton Bridge research reports on the Potato Council website. If you would like to work with the team at Sutton Bridge, please call us or visit our website.